This is a video demonstration of how to use a refreshable braille display with voiceover on the iPad. We're using uh, APH Refreshable Braille 18. And again, this will focus on all the keyboard commands that you use to navigate open apps, to read uh, the whole uh, screen, to uh, close apps, to bring up the active apps that are running in the background, or the app switcher. Okay, we'll start off with one, a couple of important references to the Braille display. The spacebar, for those that haven't used it very much, is also the command key, key when used with other keys. So let's go ahead and go to the top of the screen. Calendar, Monday, December 8th. And it already is there with the calendar app. To go to the bottom of the screen, chord 456. Doc, Safari. And Double we'll, we'll return to the top of the screen with chord 123. Calendar, Monday, December 8th. To go ahead and Double move to the left or the right position rather the next app, uh, chord four. FaceTime, photos, iBooks. Chord Double one to go to the previous FaceTime. one. FaceTime, calendar, Monday, December 8th. To open that Double up, open. chord three six. Calendar, December 2014. Chord four Day. Button. to Week. move across Button. the menu Two items where they refer to them also as containers. Selected, month, year, button. If I wanted to select those or change the orientation of the calendar by hitting uh, selecting um, year, I'd push chord 3 6. Uh, as I progress farther, Search, and, button. Monday, and I, and I want to enter Tuesday, some data, from 8 to 9 after, uh, Monday, after selecting the chord 3 6, uh, I'd probably have to turn the nav keys off to start typing in data on the calendar for, for a particular event. This is also true with uh, word processing programs, turning the nav off when you want to input uh, data, and then you put uh, nav key back on. With a refreshable braille display, it's a chord cue. Now to get out of this, we want to do chord H, which is chord um, one, three, or one, two, and uh, five. Calendar, Monday, December 8th. Now, I, want, I want to read everything on the screen there. Uh, if I was on a screen I wasn't familiar with and I wanted to know it was there, uh, chord R or chord spacebar, one, two, three, and five. Calendar, Monday, December 8th. FaceTime, photos, iBooks, reminders, clock, 9.20 p.m., maps, videos, newsstand, one new item, contacts, photo booth, game center. Chord P will pause it. Chord P again will continue. Chrome iTunes store, app store, to iTunes store. To stop Double it, I pushed chord one or chord four, and that uh, regains control over uh, individually going from item to item. To um, go ahead and get into where the active apps are running in the background, to make a change, I do chord H twice. App switcher, calendar, running. Swipe up with three fingers to close the app. Now it's also telling us about the uh, touch gestures we can use on the screen. We want to go ahead and go from um, open app to open app, so chord, chord Settings, four. One, delivery train HD, app store, mail, 17 and ready mail. Chord one to go store, back to the previous. Delivery train HD, settings, calendar, home, running. If I, if I wanted to open up any one of those, I'd hit chord three six. Now let's go ahead and get out of this with chord H. Calendar. Monday, December 8th. Double tap to open. Now, as we navigate, Face time. Photos. and we're going I down, box. Reminders. Clock. we PM. realize that this particular home open. screen doesn't have the app that I want or the item that I want. So I go ahead and push chord, um, PM. chord O or chord uh, 135. Page 204. And that allows PM. me to go to the next Double home screen. Open. And the opposite, chord. Um, Two, four, six. Page one four. Will take me back to the Calendar. previous, previous home until you hear the sound. That means that's as far as you can go in that direction. This is the end of this particular tutorial. We'll get into more later. So um, the first one we had was on keyboard and using a keyboard. This is on a refreshable braille display, and we'll get into more about apps in future video demonstrations.